Dr. Rosie Wiles, classicist, cultural historian. The story I would really like to tell is the story of Madame Dacier. She was in 17th century France and a very important translator of the classics. She's the one who's responsible for putting, for example, Aristophanes into the vernacular almost for the very first time. And she also has a very important role in the history of female empowerment. And so she has this double role. And what makes her story so important and useful is that it can be made very, very appealing to a modern audience. For example, the things that she faces in her life can be linked in to feel very relevant now. She divorced very young. She wasn't happy with the printer she married. Um, and she went on to then have the challenge of trying to start establish herself in Paris in a man's world where she had to get special permission if she wanted to go to particular libraries, where she had the challenge of being hounded by the press at some point and where she also faced religious prejudice as well. If we look at the impact that she's had since and the story of the role she's played in the struggle of female empowerment, then one of the things that's really nice is that she appears in Wonder Woman in 1942 where you can see that she's uh, actually there, she's being told that she's been made a member of the University of Padua, an honorary member, and she says, oh, well, if only my dad could see me now, and then he could see what a girl can do. <laughs>